YouTube. I wanted to make a video about the experiment which I performed using my new hydrothermal reactor. Unfortunately, I don't have footage of the experiment itself because I wanted to work out all of the bugs first before I filmed the actual experiment. I will be replicating this experiment and filming the entire thing in the coming days. I performed the experiment again trying to make fatty acids from carbon monoxide and hydrogen. This time I would say unequivocally that it was a success. So let me share with you my results and you can judge for yourself. Okay, so first I want to show you the control solution for my last experiment. This is a solution where I simply mixed fatty acids, which I had made previously, into distilled water. What you should be looking at are the very small round structures, which have black centers. These vesicles were stained with Sudan 3 reagent, which is why they appear so dark. Since fatty acids and water are really the only components of this solution, then we can conclude that these are simply very small vesicles. And here's a video of fatty acid vesicles in solution, which are moving. And again, the only components of this mixture were fatty acids and water. What you should be watching here, again, are the very smallest of the vesicles among the larger ones. And lastly, here's a video of the solution which I extracted from my newest experiment using my hydrothermal reactor. In this experiment, I used a mixture of distilled water, montmorillonite clay, potassium carbonate, and iron powder. The iron powder is very dense, and so it settled out of solution immediately and was not present in the extracted solution. I then added the two gases, carbon monoxide and hydrogen, which were created in separate vessels and then were piped in to my reaction vessel with a piece of plastic tubing attached to the port on the vessel used to test pressure. I heated this solution to 380 degrees Celsius for three hours, extracted the resulting solution with a pipette and a test tube, both of which were cleaned thoroughly prior to use with acetone followed by isopropyl alcohol to remove any fatty acid residues from previous extractions. Again, you can see the very tiny round structures, just like the other two videos. All of these videos were taken at a magnification of a thousand times. This provides fair, fairly conclusive evidence, in my view, that you can create fatty acids from carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas, uh, as demonstrated in previous experiments. And so this is a potential mechanism on the prebiotic earth for the creation of fatty acids which are the main components of animal cell membranes. And I am very happy to report this success, and I welcome any comments, and thank you for watching.